Hi Brad from WordPress Sites. Here's a quick five minute video on W3 Table Catch plugin. Uh, how to configure the, the general settings. I haven't got into the detailed settings in this blog post. I'll do that at some stage over the next few days. So uh, if you want to receive the full setup including how to set up CDN, Content Delivery Network, uh, also VPS, which I've just set up on my own site. I'm, I'm now running on the, uh, WordPress VPS. I'll have that over the next week, so subscribe to my post if you want to receive that. But uh, just quickly, uh, the, the, the best reasons to set up caching are to make your site faster, improve uh, page loading speed, uh, which will get you more views, it will improve your Google ranking, it will improve your bounce rate and your conversion rate as well. So it'll be a lot better experience for your site visitors. Um, and, and I've noticed I've had to do this once I've read about 170 pages on the site. It was just getting far too slow. But I've installed the free Firefox uh, add-on called YSlow, which is really good. Um, I'll just show you quickly how it works now. It, once installed, you get this thing down the bottom here, and you just click on Run Test, and uh, and you'll just see uh, my site's still a bit slow. I, I, I still need to uh, configure CDN, so I haven't done that yet, and I haven't fully configured W3 Total Catch. So I'm getting the C grade, about a score of 70 out of 100. It's got a whole list of things down here on the left which I need to do to improve my site speed and my page loading speeds. But just back to uh, configuring W3 Total Catch, everything's on my blog post, and I've got screenshots of every step of the. Uh, step of the process and it's very straightforward to configure the basic general settings and here they are here you've got page cat settings minify database object cat browser user agent and setting the content delivery network which will make a massive difference so um, there's a really good deal on at the moment i've got a link on the page here if you just want to try that out for about 40 bucks so uh, but uh, all you have to do basically with the general settings, make sure you click this, click save, same with page catch, minify settings, you want to make sure you enable all of these and I've got the exact uh, configuration settings that you should enable uh, with, with screenshots for every part of the uh, each element of uh, W3 Total Catch. Uh, object catch uh, CDN. If you don't have a CDN provider uh, yet, there is a link to one here, and they have got a really good deal at the moment. Uh, if you don't want to use CDN, if you just want to use VPS, or you just got shared hosting and you want to install the free W3 Total Catch plugin, um, then don't enable this. Make sure you deselect it. Um, and, and because it's, uh, there's no point in enabling it if you don't have the uh, if you don't have the CDN attached. Uh, browser catch, make sure you enable that. And, th and that's all there is in this blog post. It's just the basic general settings. I was using WP Super Catch, and I've actually gone back to that at the moment until I fully configure my W3 Total Catch. I haven't done that yet. I've been too busy doing other things. I've just finished installing, uh, moving my site across to VPS. I've got a really good deal on my VPS, and uh, so I've got an enormous amount of power now. And I just need to just need to fully configure everything, uh, complete the full configuration of W3 Total Catch uh, with CDN. You can't do that with WP Super Catch. It won't work with CDN, so you have to use W3 Total Catch. And the author of the plugin is actually a client of uh, CDN as well. He uses CDN himself, so. Uh, I've heard the page loading times will come down to about one second per page. I think it's currently running between my averages around five seconds uh, because I've added an enormous amount of images and so on. But, uh, I've got another seven blog posts on website optimization and page speeds and there's a lot of information here which should help you. So that's, that, that's pretty much it. They're the basic general settings uh, for W3 Total Catch plugin. And um, see how you go with them, and, and good luck. Cheers.